Greetings, distinguished guests, landscape professionals, family, and friends. Welcome to the CNLA's 18th Annual National Awards of Landscape Excellence. We're absolutely delighted to be hosting this year's ceremony. Each year, the CNLA celebrates landscape greatness with these national awards, honoring excellence in landscape construction, maintenance, and design. Today, we'll also be presenting the CNLA Garden Center of the Year, the Grower of the Year Awards, as well as the Green for Life Community Award. It is the sponsors that make this event possible. Caterpillar, John Deere, Hort Protect, which includes Marsh Canada, People Corporation, and Fenchurch. Both the Commercial and Residential Construction Awards and the Green for Life Community Award are generously sponsored by Caterpillar. Hort Protect is the sponsor of our Design Award, the Maintenance Awards, both commercial and residential. Thank you for your support. At this time, we'd also like to thank our judges who made these awards possible. Before we get to the awards presentation, we have an important message from our sponsor, Caterpillar. Let's have a look. I'm Vernon Miller. I'm manager of Sunshine Ridge, LLC. My third son, Tim, he and I do much of the work together. The two of us work well together. We love CAD equipment. We like how easy they are to operate. I use them to dig footers, to put in water lines, put up silt fence. I also do septic repairs. I love turning dirt. This new 303.5, it's a small machine with lots of power packed into it. It is more compact, it is very agile. It's a quick machine, but it's not jerky. The maneuverability is better. Overall, it is a great, great machine. I liked all the new technology they put on. On the boom, each individual cylinder, for each operator, it can be set so that it's just right for him. I love the cab. It is a fairly roomy cab. It keeps me cooler in the summer and also out of the yellow jackets. In the winter time, you actually can work comfortably. You're not freezing yourself. The new cab has lots of glass. There's not much restriction on visibility. The stick steer feature, it frees up your feet. There's less stress. It's much more comfortable to just use that one hand on your steering while the other hand is free to operate the blade. The equipment is very easy to load. I do move my equipment a lot. It doesn't take long to load up and go on to the next job. I feel that it's much easier to service the CAT 303.5. The tilt feature on the cab is a great feature that they have put on these new machines. A dealer is as far as I'm concerned, is the best one around. If I have any problems at all, I can call them. Service, they do it very quickly, very efficiently, and I feel like I can be priority and be well taken care of running CAT equipment. We have very few breakdowns. We enjoy using our equipment, and I think the CAT equipment helps me to be very efficient on the job every day. As time goes on, I'm sure that Tim's going to be the one who's going to take over my business and continue on with CAT equipment. On to our first category, the Caterpillar Award of Excellence for Commercial Landscape Construction. Our entries are from Alberta Visionscapes for Poolside Rejuvenation by Hotel Arts. From Ontario, Aiden Earthworks from Musée Picus. Kent Ford Design Group for Chateau Le Jardin. Rutherford Contracting for Lake Wilcox Phase 3. From Newfoundland and Labrador, O'Neill Landscape for Residence at Littledale. We're pleased to announce the winner of the Caterpillar Award of Excellence for Commercial Landscape Construction. It's Aiden Earthworks on Ontario for Musée Picasse. Let's take a look at their project. This project, the Musée, was one of our best projects that we have worked on over the last number of years. As you can see, it's in downtown Toronto, right at the corner of Bathurst and Adelaide. And this was a very intricate 
time consuming, but as you can see, an absolutely magnificent project. So the feedback that we've received over the years, and especially when we were installing it, was from all of the owners within the condominium. They were blown away. They couldn't imagine that within a very small area within the downtown core, we were really able to create an oasis for them away from the hustle and the bustle and the busy street. As you can see from this parquet, it's really off to the side. We had a pool deck area on the second floor. We had an entire terrace along the 18th floor, an entire barbecue area, many different seating areas, many different pergolas and trellises. We had a side laneway along Brown's Lane, which had multiple townhomes that we had to build individual patios for. And then of course the entire park area, which was built out of clay pavers. You can see very closely, they're all square. We built in concrete parts in order to create the beautiful garden beds with the trees and the plants and the shrubs and the perennials. And then very intricately, we built out uh, an e bench along with bike racks and everything associated for the community to work with, to live with, to enjoy while they are in the Musée itself. Aiden Earthworks has been in business for approximately 18 years. Winning a national award is something that of course every single business that is in the landscaping trade and of course any other business works towards. Thankfully this is our second national award uh, in the last number of years and we're very thankful for all of the different organizations. The CNLA, of course ELO that we work with very closely and it applies directly to the associations that if not for them, there are many things related to this industry that we would have never been able to achieve. So we're also here to give back and to thank the associations for everything that they have put into this. Congratulations to the team at Aiden Earthworks. And now we will move on to our largest category, which we had 16 entries this year, the Caterpillar Award of Excellence for Residential Landscape Construction. We will start from the East Coast and move West with the submissions. Newfoundland and Labrador, outdoor by design for COVID-19 retreat. Murray's Landscape Services for the Tough Project. Aero Landscapes Inc. for Clark's Beach Residents. From Nova Scotia, down to earth landscaping for Bolt. From Quebec, Paysage Knowlton for 6504. From Ontario, Safarian Design Group for Simcoe Sophistication. Roger Willis Contracting for Mill Street. Landcon Limited for Steel Drive. From Manitoba, Geller's Design Build Landscape for Arrow Lake. Lawn and Order Custom Landscapes for Vialu Drive. From Alberta, Visionscapes for Contemporary Charm. Planta Landscape for Ulmer. Visionscapes for Oasis on the Bluff. From British Columbia, Fossil Landscape Construction for West Vancouver Estate. Blue Bear Landscape Construction for Tall Tree. Gardenia Landscaping Limited for Single Family Residential Landscape Design and Installation. We are pleased to announce that the Caterpillar Award of Excellence for Residential Landscape Construction goes to Fossil Landscape Construction for West Vancouver Estate. Congratulations to the team at Fossil Landscape Construction. What an achievement. Let's take a look at their work. This is a project called West Coast Estate. We worked on this property from 2018 to 2020. Oh, I think it takes right to the end of the project for it to feel finished. There's so much kind of groundwork and preparation that goes in with drainage and irrigation pipes. It's not until the final touches have been put on things that it, it starts to look like a finished garden. So we worked very closely with uh, the landscape architect, Ron Rule Consultants, working to their plan, using their plant choices and collaborating, I think on a weekly basis, reviewing area by area the plants that were available at the nursery and then the layout and installation as we went. We definitely have a mix of environments, quite lucky Think to have natural bedrock to work with, the big trees, the park next door, and then this spectacular architecture that kind of lends itself to creating some formal areas and then other less formal areas further away from the house. We're on the edge of West Vancouver, about 25 minutes from downtown Vancouver, and we're facing west out towards the Pacific Ocean. We're at the highest point on the property on a big 
bedrock outcrop, which is really the perfect location for this metal pergola structure with stone base and a very contemporary element in a, in a space that's otherwise really quite natural. The architecture of the home itself is so striking uh, that certain areas need to be kept formal and the differences there would be in terms of layout, the geometry of the lines, the ornateness of stonework and elements like that. And further away from the house, the less formal areas, it's primarily about plant choice, lots of native plants, less formal layout and less formal structure to the spaces. The driveway was uneven and we re relayed all of that. Down at the lawn level, uh, those stone patios were all new, as is the uh, fire pit outlook patio. Working on high-end residential projects gives us the opportunity to work with some amazing consultants, landscape architects, work with some amazing materials and designs. We really enjoy innovating in terms of the tools and methods that we use. It's an amazing honour to be recognised by the CLA and I'd like to thank all the members and the judges. What a beautiful project! I really like that, Ben. And now, on to our next category in the Landscape Awards. The Hort Protect Award of Excellence for Landscape Design. This year's entries, starting from the West Coast. From British Columbia, Climate Landscaping Limited for Cameron Residence. From Alberta, Visionscapes for Lotus Garden. Planta Landscape for Ross. Modern Earth Landscaping for Nelson Residence. From Ontario, Partridge Fine Landscapes for Ravine Retreat. Springbank Landscapes for Serenity Now. Yards Unlimited for Nature Inspired. From Newfoundland and Labrador, Murray's Landscape Services for Buren Heritage Square Revitalization. Track Consulting for Cobb's Pond. It is now our pleasure to announce that the Hort Protect National Award of Excellence for Landscape Design goes to Visionscapes for Lotus Gardens. Congratulations to the team at Visionscapes. Let's take a look at their design. The kitchen is considered the heart of the home and this is the heart of the outdoor environment. We have a wolf grill built in, custom built concrete countertops with built in sink. This pergola itself was specifically designed, we watched how the sun moved through the space. The clients did not want something that was completely covered but it was important to them that they had a shaded space to eat dinner and enjoy the outdoors every single louver was custom built powder coated and individually installed we custom built aluminum capping and flashing that protects all the hardwoods from water this was way more complicated than we ever envisioned our clients draw a lot of inspiration from buddha we with them had this piece of art commissioned. The clients actually met the artist personally on a vacation they went on. The weight of the sculpture itself is just under 2,500 pounds. It was not quite square when it came either. We had a lot of work to do in building a visual space that appears square, developed a shadow line around the sculpture. This fence, the product, is a batu and we have literally thousands of square feet of it in this project. The reason this hardwood was chosen is it's very tolerant to freeze thaw challenges in Calgary. It has no knots. We used it also to create framework for art pieces that create a bit of a sense of mystery and really direct people where we want them to go in this yard. This is a place where they come to read, come to relax. Uh, we have incorporated heat so it can be used three seasons. We also have lighting built in. You will see at night we have lighting in the side, but we also have LED strip lighting underneath that creates a very warm glow. This stone bowl was also hand carved by the same artist uh, that provided us with the Buddha. Uh, it was an absolute beast to get in here. It didn't end up coming with the specified hole that we wanted in the bottom to get the plumbing in, so 
We had to do a little bit of work with a coring company. The other challenge, the standard basins only hold a certain amount of weight and so we had to re-engineer the basin as well. And throughout the yard we have designed multiple hidden sheds. This is one of three. And as you open it you will see we have slat wall installed on the sides. Uh, lights automatically turn on as soon as you open the shed door. This is probably one of the most expensive sheds in Calgary. They didn't want a mailbox on their house so we had to custom design a mailbox uh, that would hold significant amounts of mail securely. It does have a mail slot in the side and then in the back it has a locking door our clients pre-COVID do a lot of traveling and so they wanted to be able to securely hold up to a month of mail or more. We really wanted to create again a little bit of a sense of privacy. So we designed a, a small front porch here. We had all the concrete custom done so that it created benches and landings where our client could put pots in. And over there, you will see we had some custom architectural antique millstones that we put into the landscape as well. Much like out back is we wanted to tie the Batu hardwood in throughout the landscape. So the front porch was completely redone and we do have details where we used it again on the front of the house as well. You know, winning a national award is an incredible honor, um, but I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for the team behind me. Uh, you know, I sometimes feel like I have the easy job working with clients, designing these spaces, you know, making sure bills are paid and people are taken care of. But ultimately this award is, it's definitely not mine. It's for our team. Uh, everyone who put their heart and soul into this project deserves recognition. And you know, we're very honored and thankful to uh, CNLA further recognition of our efforts. Congratulations again to Visionscapes for an amazing design. Ben, let's now move to the entries for the Commercial Landscape Maintenance Program. Starting from the East Coast this time, from Nova Scotia, Wallace Landscapes for Bayshore 1 and 2. From Ontario, Snyder Turf and Landscape Care for Queens Heights, Strathmore Landscape Contractors for Rideau Canal Corridor, Boots Landscaping and Maintenance Limited for Clarissa. From Alberta, Foothills Landscaping 2000 Limited for Devon Tower. From British Columbia, Paris Space Landscaping Inc. for Riva 1 and 2. Paris Space Landscaping Inc. for Wimbledon. The winner of the Hort Protect National Award of Excellence for Commercial Landscape Maintenance is Strathmore Landscape Contractors for the Rideau Canal Corridor. Let's take a look at some of the details on this project. So this is Commissioner's Park. It's a super important landscaping site in Ottawa and in Canada. We see maybe a thousand visitors per day and during the Tulip Festival we can see up to a million visitors over the course of the month. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's just a really special place with tremendous amount of work that goes into it every year. We have trees here that are a hundred year old specimen trees that we take great care in preserving. We also have annuals that we plant every year so from the, the oldest plant variety to the the newest the park has it all. The thing that's really special about the park is the this huge scale of the beds because this is where the tulip festival is kind of centered around we've got these massive beds that get planted with tulips every year so we plant about 300,000 tulip bulbs each fall and then in the summer those get rotated out for annual beds so it's probably some of the larger annual beds that you'll see in Canada. The maintenance of the park is daily I mean where you're litter control every day like we talked about structural and aesthetic pruning and trees just deadheading i mean these hosta beds are so big that it could be a, a whole day just to take the seed pods off so the nice thing about this property is that the feedback is constant we've got thousands of people that go through this park on a on a weekly basis some of them on a you know a very regular routine of dog walking or or just fitness and they really appreciate the work that they see happening here they're really happy and proud of the park the same way we are 
And then our other feedback, of course, comes from our client at the NCC. They've been very happy with the, the progress that the park has made over the four years that we've been maintaining it. We're really proud to have won the award here in Ottawa because this is our first branch location that we opened four years ago. So to see the team's hard work recognized so quickly in their, in their project has been really exciting for us. Our company goes from 250 to 350 people every year, depending on the time of the season. And the, the nice part about Strathmore is that the whole team is built around the same shared core values. So it makes for a really nice group of people working together towards a common goal. Once again, our congratulations to Strathmore Landscape Contractors. And now on to the entries for the Hort Protect Residential Landscape Maintenance Program. The entries in this category include from Alberta, JVR Landscape for Broadfoot Wildwood Residents. From Ontario, Shades of Summer Landscaping and Maintenance for Boychuck Finley Residents. The Cultivated Garden for Ivy Residents. Snyder Turf and Landscape Care for Grace Manor. From Nova Scotia, Wallace Landscapes for Stafford. The winner of the Hort Protect Award for Excellence for Residential Landscape Maintenance. The Cultivated Garden for Ivy Residents. Let's take a look at this winning project. What's really amazing about it is because it's terraced, it feels very open and large. And the most amazing part of this garden is the city view behind us. It feels like it's part of the garden and the garden goes on forever. The staff is here on a weekly basis, so it's a lot, a lot of work and that's why it's weekly. Even though it's small, there's just a lot of stuff that goes on here, just a lot of things that need doing. I think most of all, this garden shows off the skills of my staff. When you have a client that appreciates that, it makes the job so much more pleasant. We have a lot of perennials, and the way we decide on what gets planted is the client loves purple. Makes it easy. We also have some dark burgundy because I think that the um, purples go really well with that. The garden just really works fantastically well with the house. The house is contemporary and the front is simple. So it's very different front and back. The front is very green, clean, crisp lines. And the pruning that my staff does is really phenomenal. Things really thrive here. We're very lucky, we have full sun. We have shady spots where we have a lot of greenery, but we're lucky enough to have the option of putting in whatever flowering plants we want. Seeing the fruits of your labor in a garden like this, it's just, you know, you come in and maybe things are a little bit askew and messy and when you leave it looks like this and it's hugely satisfying. The, the thing about winning an award is that I think it's really a testament to the staff's skills. The, war, the award's not about me, I'm just the facilitator. They are the ones that do the hard work. So when I, when I put in for an award, I do it because I want my staff to get the recognition that they deserve. I want them to feel that the hard work that they put in every day is being recognized. Congratulations to the Cultivated Garden for their great maintenance work on this project. We have another message from our sponsor, Caterpillar. Cat skid steers and compact track loaders have a number of features which help make your job easier and you more productive. Let's take a closer look at one of these now, the work tool positioner. The work tool positioner allows you as the operator to select a target angle for your work tool and then return that work tool to the prescribed angle so that you can work faster and get a much better finished product. A trencher is a great attachment to use as an example. Once the trench depth has been established, the work tool positioner allows you to set the depth of that trench so that you can return the trencher to that very same angle and same depth at any time should you need to pull the trencher out of the cut. The work tool positioner feature can also be used with other attachments like buckets, forks, brooms, box rakes, cold planers, and snow clearing attachments just to name a few. Let's talk to you about how to use the work tool positioner feature. As we stated, the work tool positioner feature can be used with a number of different attachments. We just happen to have a trencher for this demonstration. As you can see, we've started our trench and established our depth. In order to set this depth, or attachment angle, as our target, we'll need to use the trigger on the right-hand joystick. To press the trigger and hold the trigger, watching for the icon on the display to flash to let you know that you've pre-selected the target angle. 
Unlike the return to dig feature, the work tool positioner feature does not automatically control the lift arm height. It only controls the angle or pitch of the attachment. So we're going to continue cutting the trench now. If at any time I encounter an obstacle, like a rock or a root, and need to clear the chain, I can raise my trencher from the cut. In order to return the trencher to the pre-selected angle or depth I set, I'm going to take the joystick and move it like I normally would to tilt the attachment downward or dump it. But along with this motion, I'm going to incorporate a press of the trigger and it will return the trencher to the pre-selected angle. There you go, ready to resume cutting the trench. So that's just one of the ways you can utilize the work tool positioner and I know you can find different ways to use it on your job site with different attachments in order to help you be more productive and ultimately deliver you a better finished product in the end. If you'd like to learn more about the CAT skid steer and compact track loader family or the features these machines have to offer, please visit us on our YouTube channel or contact your local CAT dealer today. The next award to be presented is Green for Life Community Award, which is also generously sponsored by Caterpillar. This award recognizes the incredible projects and segments within communities, regions, and municipalities that benefit the public through the development and or maintenance of green spaces. This year's winner is chosen by our volunteer judges, Jeff McMahon, Dean Spearman, and Joan Routledge. Once again, thank you to the judges for their time and dedication. Let's have a look at the Green for Life community projects for this year. First is the Landscape Newfoundland Horticultural Association. Forgotten corner project in the town of Bay Bulls. Landscape Newfoundland Horticultural Association members started this project in 2019 with a desire to rejuvenate an area in the community that was forgotten about and need a little beautification and community love. At the same time, this project would help make Landscape Newfoundland Horticultural Association a more recognizable association of professional companies throughout the province. Then, the people of Newfoundland, through social media, had the opportunity to vote on which community they felt was most deserving. The town of Bay Bulls, with a population of 1,800, came out on top. With the help of LNLHA members who donated time and material and community members including residents, local businesses, municipal and provincial government representatives, the previously owned Ryan property was transformed into a beautiful, relaxing space that would be enjoyed for many years by the people of the town and the approximately 150,000 visitors alike. The second project, Granville Island by Periscape Landscape, Inc. Granville Island is more than just a tourist attraction. It's become a major essential part of Vancouver culture, which sees nearly 10 million visits per year. The island boasts an impressive, sprawling landscape, including over 400 trees, 150 seasonal flower beds, 2.5 acres of lawn, two outdoor amphitheaters, two ponds, and three playgrounds. The island is a hopping place with events ranging from parties and weddings to cultural events such as open-air Shakespeare performances in their grass amphitheater and the Fringe Festival, which features more than 700 performances by 80 artists over 11 days. After all major events, the lawns are aerated to alleviate compaction and heavily overseeded to ensure that the lawns are looking immaculate for the next event. From day one, Granville Island has been breaking new ground by putting core principles of sustainability into action. In 2019, the project to revamp the entrance to the island was underway. This included a large boulder wall to correct the grade change and preserve the large willows, creation of pond wildlife friendly habitat, and a colorful flowering shrub and perennial display. The addition of this installation is sure to act as a welcoming feature for the community to know they are entering into Granville Island. Without further ado, Ben, please join us in congratulating Granville Island Project as this year's Green for Life Community Award winner. And now, a message from another one of our sponsors, John Deere.
We fit the brains of a smart great dozer inside the nimble body of a compact track loader. So you can fit 3D grade control where never thought possible. The smart grade 333G. Speed, precision, agility. Ask your dealer how it all just fits. Final two awards for this year, the CNLA Grower of the Year and Garden Center of the Year. This year, the CNLA Grower of the Year Award goes to a distinguished company that has been in business for over 50 years. Since 1970, this family-owned nursery has supplied prairie-growing trees, shrubs, and perennials to retailers throughout Western Canada and the Northern United States. Their values of honesty, hard work, and excellent customer service have kept them growing strong. The CNLA would like to congratulate Eagle Lake Nurseries Limited as winner of the 2021 Grower of the Year Award. Let's take a look at Eagle Lake Nurseries. Eagle Lake Nurseries was started in 1970. We're located in Strathmore, Alberta. We grow container shrubs and trees, perennial plants and caliper trees for the wholesale market predominantly. So our customers are uh, landscapers, contractors, municipalities and garden centers and we're always trying new things and seeing what we can push the envelope on to see, uh, see what might be hardy and uh, trying lots of new varieties all the time. The business has definitely evolved over the years. What we're standing in now is what we call our container production area and uh, its original name was a swamp because <laughs> it was basically a piece of pasture slew land. Currently have about a thousand acres of land on four different locations kind of surrounding Eagle Lake so all in a fairly close vicinity. My dad Tony Hoover and my mom Ann Hoover started the company and uh, both of them are immigrants from Holland. My dad came over as a farm worker. And the industry was pretty small. It took a little bit to get going because you're an immigrant and uh, all I could do is go door to door and advertise in the paper so you don't have to start big. The rural system had party lines so they, yes. they hooked up a whole bunch of people to the same and you had to take your turn and everybody is on the same line. <laughs> so were you using that to talk to customers? Or? Yeah, that was the only way we had because we lived here and we had no other, there was no, uh, we had no radios that time. <laughs> that was not very easy to have no. a party line with so many of the neighbors around. No, and there. then you want... They would tell you, when, when are you going to shut up? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely very neat to win a national uh, award. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, wasn't certainly something we were expecting and uh, feel quite honored, especially for my staff. I think it's uh, something to make them proud about what they do and what they're uh, building here with this company and, uh, and some recognition for, for them as well. Congratulations once again to Eagle Lake Nurseries Limited, now the CNLA Garden Center of the Year Award. This beautiful garden center operates from a 100-year-old family farm within the Edmonton city limits. In the country atmosphere, complete with a big red barn, they offer a full range of potted trees, shrubs, and perennials, as well as decorative gift and garden decor. The CNLA would like to congratulate Mill Creek Nursery Limited as the winner of the 2021 Garden Center of the Year Award. Let's take a look at Mill Creek Nursery. It was a little idea that I had one day that I was gonna grow 10 acres of apple orchard and that the, the area wasn't ready to plant so i put the trees up for sale and they sold quicker than i wanted to and uh, required other plants that people requested thought i'd have two employees and my my plan went right off the rails and we have uh, a good bunch of employees over 40 at the moment and we operate uh, retail wholesale nursery out of a historic farm that was established in 1903 by my great-grandfather and every generation has done a different commodity. 
My grandfather had uh, chickens that laid eggs and supplied the restaurants of Strathcona and Edmonton. And my dad had a dairy with his twin brother. And it seemed like every generation wanted to try something a little different. And I'm thankful for all the uh, cow and uh, chicken manure that makes our land so fertile. And uh, that was the start of our, our nursery. In 1987, we opened uh, to retail and uh, we've been going ever since. Probably the greatest award to me is to be a supplier to the University of Alberta and their uh, customer that we are very thankful to have. And it's uh, neat to have uh, had a forestry degree, graduated in 1981, and now supplied them with product that they use on their grounds and beautify the landscape of the University of Alberta. So that's tremendous. And uh, the ledge grounds also use our plants and uh, expertise as well as a lot of golf courses and other people. So it's very rewarding as I travel about the city and see plants that we've put in over many years to uh, recognize our stamp on the city. We really appreciate this award through the CNLA and I was totally surprised and uh, blown away and uh, really am thankful for the years of support from our suppliers and from other mentors in the industry as well. And uh, for the blessing of all this work that we've had and the years of good success. Congratulations, Mill Creek Nursery on your award. Pretty impressive, eh, Dad? So impressive. Actually, I know something about garden centers, and this is definitely a winner. Congratulations to all of our winners in all categories, and thank you to our sponsors. Caterpillar, John Deere, Hort Protect, which includes Marsh Canada, People Corporation, and Fenchurch. It's because of your support that makes these awards possible. Thank you for joining us today. Next year, the National Awards of Landscape Excellence will be presented in Ottawa, where the CNLA will also be celebrating its 100th anniversary. Ben, thanks so much for joining me for these wonderful awards with CNLA. What a great organization, and we have to be proud of the members, wouldn't you say? Yes, thank you, Dad. Incredibly impressive work on behalf of all the members this year. Congratulations. I can hardly wait for Ottawa.